Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Reborn 13 podcast with the genie and today do I have another enthralling episode lined up for you all because one, the genie's energy is high right now, the genie is feeling grateful and wonderful for this blessing of a day and this opportunity to fill your minds with insight and knowledge with regards to what is taking place with XRP and the financial system so that you can all go away and capitalize on this amazing opportunity that is before us. But for today's episode, what we are going to be covering is a more mathematical approach and actually taking a step back from all the metaphysical data which we have been covering in the previous episodes up until this point and we're going to look more into the mathematics and the price of the coin and a few documents which I have fallen across recently which you may have seen being shared across Twitter that have shown the possibilities of what XRP price can achieve but also where it may be implemented into the financial system with regards to gold and as a potential ESDR. Now those words will become clearer to you as we go on but I have a few documents which we're going to read through which when I first read through them were pretty mind-blowing and then I'm going to link it with a few illustrations which instantly popped into my head when I saw them just to back them up to hopefully again blow your minds at the scale of what has been going on behind the scenes for years and years and years to bring and birth this financial system which we are currently seeing unfold before our eyes right now but we are going to look into the plumbing that has been taking place over these years and the potential means or the role in which XRP will play in it all so if you are excited make sure you drop a like down below right now guys because this episode is going to blow you away if you haven't been so already in all of my previous podcasts so without further ado we're gonna get straight into it now guys what I want to do first is bring you over to my website and what I have done for this podcast is I have made the market capitalization lesson on my mastery of the cryptoverse course free whereby you can sign up for free and preview this lesson because I know many of you think that market cap has a way of limiting the potential price for a coin and I want to debunk that myth so you can come over here and catch that lesson for free because you need it to know that market cap is just a representative figure and nothing more but enough of that we're going to get straight into the disclaimer here so what is coming up all views are my own I am just giving you my interpretation upon the reality of things. You can take it or leave it, but that is completely up to you. And then with the rest of this is not as relevant for this session. So I'm just going to let you read it and take it with it for yourself. But I just want to cover that there will be absolutely no financial advice contained herein. And it is your responsibility on your financials. But less talking, <laughs> more action so where are we going to begin well as you can see we have a lot of interesting documents lined up here and what we are going to finish on is some questions from my previous podcast to cover through but where I want to begin is by showing you this document just here now I stumbled upon this only recently and I want to show you what it says as to the potential of the coming reset of the international monetary system. So as you can see, it is all tied around gold. Now, if you haven't watched any of my previous podcasts, make sure you do because you're going to need the information and knowledge contained herein to be able to understand this on its most fundamental scale. Now what you can see is that gold is tied in to the SDR which is then distributed through the entire financial system essentially leading down to XRP which will become the, the base currency for 
the SDR. Now, I'm not going to run through all of this because what it will do is it will make the podcast way too long. But what I wanted to show you there is the foundation of what we're going to go into next. Now, firstly, what is the SDR? Well, the SDR, Special Drawing Rights, is a reserve currency created by the International Monetary Fund. Now, who told us about the IMF? Remember, Ross Vandermeer to reduce the pressure on gold and the US dollar in international transactions. It was established in the late 1960s and is mainly used by the IMS internal accounting. So keep that in mind, my friends. Now, this is a document which is from the World Economic Forum website. I think it was posted around 2018. And these are screenshots which I took from it. And I just want to read them to you so you can see that this has definitely been in play for the years of past as to a potential means in which XRP is going to be implemented into the financial system. A digital currency should be adopted as the world's leading reserve currency. A geopolitically neutral currency will offer important protections against the increased threat of trade wars. Now, I've got a few things to read you here. The private sector can work directly with central banks, <coughs> Ripple central banks, to create a digital SDR to use as a unit of account and store of value. All that is needed is a major reserve currency that is not issued by a national authority. Gold was once supposed to fill this role, but it couldn't meet the demand for global liqu liquidity and store of value. A better op option is the IMS special drawing right, which the second amendment of the body's article of agreement asserts should be the world's principal reserve asset. Such an ESDR would, in a sense, be the quintessential reserve asset because it would be fully backed by reserve currencies in the IMF determined ratio. The supply of the ESDR would be completely dependent upon the market demand. Now, where do I want to go to next with this? I want to bring you back to Mr. Ross Vandermeer and Marvin Gaye's little gem, which he left for us back in 2018 and you can see here what we were told is very much similar to the potential of what could play out what it was saying in those documents gold is back with his new friend the standard of the new economy gold based xrp true liquidity as a real time settlement beginning of the quantum financial system before or by 2020 now remember if you've seen my numerology podcast you understand that the numbers and dates which they give us hold deeper meanings and that there is always something deeper to look into because if they was just giving us the date then it would be too simple keep that in mind digital credit trusted liquidity will soon be injected which will be x r p now this is another interesting document which I have stumbled upon, which was on Twitter. Now, this shows how the iOS 20022 estimates that the supporting 87% of financial transactions by 2023, where I want to bring you to on this document, and now you can pause it and read it for yourself, but where I want to bring you to the important part is that based off of all the figures that were given to us by the estimations, you can see that the price tag of XRP would be at $1,050 based upon these transactional maths that we have been given by multiple prevalent sources within the financial sphere. Now, what is very interesting as mentioned on there with the ISO 20022 is this picture of Brad Garlinghouse when in the background we've got the 222. We have a look at the ISO 22. Is that something which he was 
giving us a tip upon very potentially. Now, what is the ISO? The ISO is a standard for electronic data interchange between financial institutions. It describes a metadata repository containing descriptions of messages and business processes and maintaining processes for the repository content. It is huge. Where do I want to go to next? Right here. This is from a PowerPoint and I have absolutely no idea where this was from. However, it shows the potential way in which this new financial system is going to be birthed. And now why would this even be being made if somebody didn't know any deeper ideas as to the real goings on behind the scenes and what is actually about to take place. Now, what was interesting here that I saw was the sell off of assets, gold, etc. Now, who told us that there would be a sharp drop in gold before the financial system is implemented? Ross Vandermeer, very, very interesting. He also told us that there would be Berlin settlements, the new world financial system to come and then move towards a better world. Now, if you aren't already convinced at the scale and size of what is happening, I'm going to show you this. This is a screenshot from the XRP ledger. As you can see, Gold Bullion International are already established on the XRP ledger. They have already been in talks with Ripple for years because they know that this was coming. Now, I want to read this to you. It is possible to make a payment with gold on the Ripple network. Ripple secured the same asset custodian for gold that is now working with Canadian Min and a company called Gold Bullion International, already issuing balances on the Ripple ledger. There are also custody assets for Merrill. Also, what I want to show you with this is the final part of this little gem left to us by David Schultz. And it says XRP is an asset ca that can be used for settlement. It's kind of like gold that can instantly teleport around the world. If you remember this document right here from Marvin Gaye, keep an eye on AIIB. We've got Asia launches new reserve currency in move away from US dollar dependence and Asian AAIB backed digital reserve currency takes the US dollar index down by 20% tanks the US dollar 30% versus cold now again I'm not going to read this but you can see how the whole picture is tying in now we're not done there there is this article from 2019 which shows London Gold Association to track gold movement via blockchain. London Bullion Market Association recently attempted to find a way to make the movement of gold more transparent and modernised. The use of blockchain technology presented itself as a possible solution with 26 companies contacting the association regarding possible cooperation. 26 companies, I guarantee they are not small companies guys before we move on i want to say if you're liking this episode so far make sure to smash the like button down below because it helps out the genie so much where do i want to go to next we're bringing it to the fall of the dollar and this is a very interesting illustration because it shows that the dollar is on its last legs and that there is not much time left for the dollar to be a reserve currency so what will replace it we already know. <laughs> right, guys, before we move on to the questions, what I want to show you here is this document again. Now, I brought this up previously, but I just want to read you this small part in the middle right here, which says Ripple's primary goal is to enable payments everywhere, every way for everyone using blockchain and digital assets. The company is focused on using XRP specifically to address a 10 trillion dollar problem trapped capital that is required for cross border payments ripple net is available in 55 plus countries across six continents with payout capabilities in 70 countries recently ripple also launched a line of credit a new service on top of ripple net do you realize the size of this transactions over ripple net and kyc aml compliant ripple net is built with iso 2022 standardization the picture is of a magnitude we cannot even fathom my friends now what i want to do next is bring you on 
to the questions which we have for my previous podcast so i'm going to answer these for you and obviously guys if you have any questions which are flowing through your head right now make sure to leave them down below because in coming episodes i'm going to always be answering more but where we're going to bring it to first is this one right here which says Jeannie, what do you think about the Kendra Hill prediction that everyone will have to get a chip to buy or sell in the new world financial system? Do you think this is just fear mongering or that perhaps this was once a plan and did not play out for the cabal? What I will say is that everything that happens in the universe is down to divine providence and divine ordinance and that the infinite power out of which your soul is born is all-knowing, all-powerful and everywhere present, which means that whatever the future holds is exactly as it should be. So all I will say to this is stop worrying and start trusting. Have faith in that everything will play out and that utilise your knowledge and wisdom when those events arise but for now just simply go with the flow do what you got to do follow your intuition and don't worry about the future because you know that the future is bright and you only need to understand what is taking place within your consciousness to know that it is a certainty that a new world is being born right now and that you don't need to buy into that fear mongering on that subject Brad Garlinghouse quote from CNBC, we certainly want to see banks succeed in this new world order. Infiltration rather than invasion. You've got to understand that to play the game of your enemies and then sweep them from underneath the carpet is way more beneficial than to go in with your swords and all guns blazing. For those of you who understand the art of war, you will know that that is a far more successful tactic to use let's keep this going hello mate just curious is there are any price levels in which you would cash out a certain percentage of your xrp or are you holding indefinitely thanks i will say that what the new financial system will birth is a means for you to be able to utilize your xrp without even having to cash out that's not to say that you won't have to cash out or that you shouldn't cash out but what it means is that you don't know the means through which you're going to be able to utilize your XRP. So again, allow the future to show you. You don't know how fast XRP may potentially rise in price. You don't know the situations that may occur whilst it's happening. So for now, I would say have a brief plan in your head, but don't have an absolute certain plan because you don't know what the future holds but remember there is no financial advice from the genie i'm speaking from my own inner knowingness and then finally guys i have these two comments here now this is obviously based upon my quantum time travel podcast the previous two ones so if you haven't checked them out make sure you do so but it says wait so what is it waters above or is it an endless space and also this one, if space is fake, there has to be another explanation. Now, why have I brought these up? I had to answer these because even though it's not very relevant for this podcast, I had to answer these because they were triggering me, okay? Space. What is space? When I say space, you think of the stars and the galaxies outside. No, space is space. You exist in space. The universe is birthed in space there is nothing other than space if you think what space isn't what is there beyond space you can't even fathom that okay so the answer to these questions space is space think logically my friends there is nothing that can be outside of space except more space so the answer to these questions if space is fake, then there has to be another explanation. How can space be fake? Just look out in front of you. What do you see? Space is never ending. It is never ending. But guys, I'm going to start wrapping it up there. Like I've said before, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like down below for more content just like this to come. I've got so many great ideas from you guys and also from myself. So make sure to subscribe because you do not want to miss out on the videos which I've got coming. Make sure also to come and check out my channel and watch all of my previous videos because you are going to need the enlightening content that is stored within to understand what I'm trying to explain to you in all these videos now and all these videos to 
come so make sure you come and check this out like i said before check out my website if you want to learn how to become a master of the cryptoverse and if you don't believe that xrp can reach over a thousand dollars because of market cap here's a great video to debunk that myth for you also guys make sure to check me out on all my social medias but obviously on my instagram at reborn13 and my twitter at reborn13 and finally join my telegram because in my telegram i am putting all of the illustrations and more in there after the videos are done so you will receive all of these illustrations in there for you to utilize for yourself that is genie reborn with a zero genie reborn to join that telegram group all links will be down below in the description but guys i am gonna start bringing it to a close here let me know down below also what you prefer the metaphysical side of things the spiritual side of things tied in with xrp or a more realistic i guess you could say <laughs> approach even though realistic is just a limited term that people use to close off their imagination but without going further into that i hope you've enjoyed this episode up until this point remember that right now the best thing that you can do whilst you're waiting for all of this to properly unfold and for all of it to take place is that your own spiritual growth is of the utmost importance going within understanding your mental and emotional being becoming more peaceful more loving and more generous in your life so that you can then become more selfless more caring of others and start to give back to the world because that is your purpose that is why you're here and that is why you're watching this video because xrp is the doorway it is the key to unlock this potential within you where you can be part of the shift to rebirth this new earth it is a beautiful time and it is a blessing beyond what you can fathom so every time you feel fearful and every time you feel angry or scared or hopeless just know that everything is happening for you my friend because because you are the divine being and you create your reality but I'm going to bring it to a close there like I said I hope you enjoy and I love you all who are making it to the end of every single one of my podcasts especially but also I love you all and I thank you all so much for your support across all of my social medias across all of these videos truly truly I am so grateful honestly from the deepest part of my heart anyway I will be back soon because I'm rambling on again Thank you and I will see you all in a bit.